quiet dance. Quiet dance at all. Not only the dance are interesting, but also the instrument. They were using a little walk, turn it upside down and heat up a little music called the little gong show. <laughs> gong show in Thailand, that's what we mean. All right, now let's get down to business. I'm, have, I'm going to cook up two dishes behind the counter. Why don't you join me and find out what the heck we can come up with. Okay, let's go. All right, now, talking about Thailand, one of their very, very popular fruit is pineapple. It's pineapple. And I'm going to use the pineapple in this show and cook it up with some uh, Miss Piggy. <laughs> the pork. <laughs> that's it. That's it. And then cook it up in this called the pineapple pork. And I'm going to use the pork, cut it up into little cubes, you know, little dices, and then cook it up with this colorful vegetable. And it's one of the very appetizing dishes that we serve in China, because particularly in the summertime, you need something, you know, to bring up your appetite. So that's what we use, the pineapple, you know, to do that. Talking about appetite, appetite, you know, just an appetizer, the, the appetizer is something wrong with that. You know what's wrong with the appetizer? They spoil your appetite afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Okay, now, the next dish I'm going to cook, I don't have the name for that. It's called uh, a lot of stuff. <laughs> We're going to cook up the chicken and also a piece of pork with some of the snow peas and some mushroom. You know, the whole thing, just to show you that you can use more than one kind of meat to do your dishes. Just sit there and write down all the recipe. You see what I mean? <laughs> Thank you. Now let's get down to business here. See my apron. That's right. You know, you have to find out what's next before you can uh, start walking. Right? There you are. Roll up your sleeve, and then away you go. We get our pork. Here, one piece of Miss Piggy. Here's another one. Just like that. Very interesting. First, you cut it up into a little uh, cube. Just like this. Oh, about one inch cube. Just like that. Put it down, use a cleaver. That's all you have to do. Now, all right. Then while you're waiting, you get a little oil, you know, here. Put a little bit of oil in the wok. Okay, there you are. Now the wok has to sit still. Otherwise, you have to walk and roll. <laughs> walk and roll, that's right, there you are. That's it, heat up some oil, and then we get a bowl for our pork. That's it now, one, two, three, four. Oh, this is roughly about eight ounces of pork, eight to ten ounces. And then you get some of this pineapple, just like that. Your equal share, just like this. Hey, you can use fresh pineapple if you want, but I think the canned one would be all right. Now, in order to add some color to it, you use some of this uh, green pepper, okay, there. And then some red pepper, of course, so that it will look good. It's important to make it look good. Now, then you cut some of the green onion, you know, right here. And then always make some ginger. This is the ginger root. Okay, now a couple of pieces. Because for some reason, those pineapple will work well with the ginger. And then they will really bring up the nice flavor to uh, make it, you know, taste good. Look at this, garlic. Oh. <laughs> you give it a good hit, and then the skin, uh, they come off. Now see, they come off sometimes, just like this. All right, it's very clean, clean cut. Just like that. Then you marinate your pork. Marinate your pork first. Marinate your pork with some of this 
Salt. That's it. Half teaspoonful. Maybe quarter. <laughs> okay. You know, I send my son to school and spend a few thousand dollars. You know what I get? A quarter back. <laughs> oh, yeah. You like that. You like a quarter back. All right. Then yeah, you put some light soy sauce and a few drops of sesame street oil. <laughs> and you mix up this pork. Oh, pick, pick, pork, pork. That's a lot of a walk talk. Pick, pick, pork, pork. <laughs> now, you know that's something. Now, then you have to wait until the oil is hot. Is it? Are you hot? When you're hot, you're hot. When you're not, you're not. Now, how do you know it's hot? Use a thermometer. Oh, ah, so. <laughs> then, you, oh, this is 110 degrees. That's right, it's hot. Then you put the, all this pork right in. Just fry it. Fry the pork. Hey, little cute, you know, just right there. Oh, this is good. Look at that. This is really outstanding. Okay. Now, over here, you make your little sauce. By dissolving one tablespoon of this pineapple, uh, not pineapple, pie, this is a wonder powder, to make a pineapple sauce. Dissolve it into uh, some water. Chinese water. How do you make Chinese water, you know? You just use the ordinary water and get a bit food coloring. <laughs> Few drops. That's the way to go. That's the way to do it. Ha 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 Now, then you use a quarter teaspoon of vinegar and then half teaspoon of sugar. Ha! Huh. <laughs> there we go. Now we get a pot. Get some oil. This wok is hot, isn't it? Right, this is another wok now. Okay, put some oil there. Then you put some of this ginger, garlic, and onion. Oh, and then put the pineapple and all the goodies. Mmm, smells terrific. Mmm. Then you put uh, all the pork. Then get the pork out. Pork them out. Okay, now see the pork. Mmm, nice and golden color. Walk over here, Mr. Piggy. Mmm, this is exciting. Take a little bit of tiny cooking wine. Just like that. Mmm, that's even more exciting. You can uh, even uh, shake it a little bit. Oh, this is more exciting, isn't it? Now see, make sure you don't drop it to the floor. <laughs> then you will put all this sauce right in here. Mmm, this is really something. Oh, smells so good. Now, then you get a plate ready. I'm going to cook something in a wok to show you. All right, this is called a shrimp flavored chip. It looks like a little potato chip. Potato. Now it's coming different color too. When the oil is hot, now look at this now. Oh, something is going to happen. I think. <laughs> now see, look at that. Oh, hey, look at it. Isn't it good? Right. Okay. Now we are ready. All we have to do now is this. Mmm. Put all those things, you know, at the bottom. So that it will hold this thing really well. Okay, all the shrimp flavored chips, you know, just like that. And then all you have to do is get your pork and the pineapple. Just pour it right on top. Don't go away, I'll be right back. This program is brought to you by New Scott Towels with Sponge Pockets, getting you out of big messes.
You know what I'm thinking? We're definitely going the wrong way. No, we're not. Well, it's your company picnic. <laughs> With all the added features that come standard on the new Honda Accord Special Edition, why settle for a car that makes getting there only half the fun? Okay. Legs first. Yeah. Okay. Move. Oh, very mature. We are so lost. I give up. The remarkably equipped Accord Special Edition. Well, let's just keep looking. Sounds good. At 25.4, it's one powerful car. Sometimes, when conditions outside are less than ideal, satellite TV reception might not be as reliable as you would expect. Heavy rain or even just clouds can often cause a condition known as rain fade, which can result in the loss of your satellite TV signal. When this happens, you might not be able to watch the big game or a favorite movie. In fact, the only thing you might see is this. Cable TV, the reliable choice. Oh, some guys like the army, I think that it's a mess. If it's so damn terrific, how come I wear a dress? I want to go for a party life. Gee, Mom, I want to go home. The nurses in the army, they haven't tied the knot. But this one's going to try it with that old pornography. Sunday on Three's Company. Chrissy's father comes to visit, but doesn't agree with the trio's living arrangements and orders Chrissy home. Will she stay or will she go? Three's Company on Prime. Thank you. Now I'm going to cook up a fast dish because I want to uh, go have that better. A pizza afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, I'm going to cook up all this chicken and the pork. Chicken and pork, you know, right here. Okay, now here's the chicken and the pork is right in already. And uh, all you have to do, all you have to do, just uh, marinate them. That's right, marinate. Marinate with some light Chinese soy sauce. Soy, light soy sauce, that's right. Light soy sauce. That's all you have to do. And then, if you want to add some stuff to that, use this, green peas. And then I uh, get a piece of Chinese BS. Bamboo suit. <laughs> I know you're wondering what the heck I'm saying. I can sense all those things. Oh. Then you get uh, something. What else are you supposed to get? That's right. A piece of garlic. Oh, that works, isn't it? There you are. Well, you make a mess, but uh, you get rid of the skin anyway. <laughs> what the heck? Now, first of all, we have to uh, heat up the wok, isn't it? Which is done already. They did it all for me. Three tablespoons of the Chinese peanut oil. That's right. Okay. Now. All right, now I want more stuff, more stuff. Then uh, you have some of the, oh yeah, this is a thing. This is called a straw mushroom. Oh, this is exciting. Oh, look at this, it looks like this. Huh? Now all you have to do is just cut the little bit like this. You can see the whole straw, oh, the straw mushroom. Oh, isn't that cute? <laughs> okay, it's hot, hot wok. Then you put all those uh, chicken and pork right in. Oh, right, mm. Mm. Now, just cook it for about a minute. That's all you have to do for about a minute. Now, okay. Now, while you're waiting, oh, while you're waiting, what are you going to do? I want to make a uh, nice thing, you know, from here. This is called a basket. Oh, I want to show you this. This is very, very quick. Very quick. All you have to do, just... Watch this. Get one of these special knife. Now look at that. Oh. Just keep cutting this. Go back and forth. Now. This is the way to uh, divide your orange into half and still maintain a uh, good relationship. <laughs> I mean in a good shape. <laughs> now there you are. Hey! How do you like this? Hey! That's right. 
have our quickness. Oh, yeah, we don't fool around, you know, when it comes to cooking. When it comes to cooking only. Now, let me put a little bit tiny cooking wine. If you don't like wine, you can put beer. See? You want beer, both? Sure, why not? <laughs> What the heck? See, I don't cook like that. They ask for more. More. See? Let's teach you a lesson. <laughs> then you put all the stuff there. Oh, that was good. Now, then you put a little bit salt. <laughs> put some sugar, of course. Oh, boy. Oh, here's a nut here. Come over here. Now, you watch this. See? Walk from walk to walk. Now, then what do you do? Then you cover it with a lid. Isn't it? And then you make your sauce. Now, it depends on how much time you have. You know? Then you can do all kinds of things. You mean no time? That's better. You want some more beer? <laughs> This is fun. I didn't realize this is something new, you know. Just, you can shoot, shoot, shoot. <laughs> woo, woo. You, you can go like this. Wow, isn't that fun? <laughs> what a mess. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> okay, now we're going to make this the sauce, isn't it? The sauce. Oh, yeah. How do you make the sauce? <laughs> yeah, just put some water in and uh, dissolve some starch ocean. And put some sesame seed on. Oh. Mm. oh, this is it. Now we are going to get ourselves organized. Put it here. This is the nice orange. I put one here. Put the red one here. Oh, now that the whole thing looks gorgeous. What goes red? And then must turn green. <laughs> That would make it well balanced. Now, this the thing is ready, then all you have to do is just get uh, this uh, solution. Star solution in. Okay. Huh. Boy, this is a good dish. Because it has the Chinese wine and also the beer, you know, both together. What a combination. <laughs> now, then all you have to do now, just uh, wait until it comes to a boil. And then you uh, mix it up. Oh, this looks just gorgeous. Oh, I'm telling you. Okay. Now, all right. All you have to do is just take it up. And then I'm going to take a short break. I'll be right back to do more just for you.